Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tranquility, serenity, and the virtues of the last ten days of Ramadan. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Those who have faith and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah, truly it is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts find peace. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Tranquility and inner peace are the light that Allah puts in one's heart as they lead to certainty and serenity. Allah instills them in the hearts of the believing servants to protect them from anxiety, sedition, and adversities and to increase their faith, determination, and steadfastness to the truth. <clears throat> The Almighty Allah said, even if you do not help the Prophet, Allah helped him when the disbelievers drove him out. When the two of them were in the cave, he, Muhammad, said to his companion, Do not worry, Allah is with, with us. And Allah sent his calm down to him, aided him with forces invisible to you and brought down the disbelievers plan Allah's plan is higher Allah is almighty and wise the glorious Quran paid a great attention to peacefulness and tranquility as these religious meanings were mentioned in the context of speaking about the times of troubles and fears that terrify hearts at this time Peace and tranquility descend into the hearts of the righteous people, giving them the glad tidings of Allah's support and victory for them. The Almighty Allah said, Allah helped you at Badr when you were very weak. Be mindful of Allah so that you may be grateful. Remember when you said to the believers, Will you be satisfied if your Lord reinforces you by sending down 3,000 angels? Well, if you are steadfast and mindful of Allah, your Lord will reinforce you with 5,000 swooping angels if the enemy should suddenly attack you. And Allah arranged it so as a message of hope for you believers to put your hearts at rest help comes only from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Allah also said, Allah has helped you, believers, on many battlefields, even on the day of the Battle of Hunayn. You were well pleased with your large numbers, but they were of no use to you. The earth seemed to close in on you despite its spaciousness, and you turned tail and fled. Then Allah sent his calm down to his messengers and the believers, and he sent down invisible forces. He punished the, the disbelievers. This is what the disbelievers deserve. Allah, in the battle of Al-Hudaybiyah, when some of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, considered the terms of the treaty as unfair, and this was difficult for them to accept. The Almighty Allah filled their hearts with tranquility and serenity to strengthen their faith. The glorious Quran mentioned three, verse, three verses on that meaning. The Almighty Allah said, It was He who made His tranquility descend into the hearts of the, of the believers to add faith to their faith. The forces of the, of the heavens and earth belong to Allah. He is all-knowing and all-wise. Allah also said, Allah was pleased with the believers when they swore allegiance to you, Prophet, under the tree. He knew what was in their hearts, and so he sent tranquility down to them and rewarded them with a speedy triumph. In another verse, Allah said, While the disbelievers had fury in their hearts, the fury of ignorance, Allah sent his tranquility down on his 
on to his messenger and the believers and made binding on them their promise to obey Allah for that was more appropriate and fitting for them Allah has full knowledge of all things there is no doubt that making dhikr remembrance of Allah and remembering his greatness and closeness are reasons to, acqu to, to acquire tranquility and peacefulness these traits expands one's heart and revives it the Almighty Allah said those who have faith and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah truly it is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts find peace the Prophet peace be upon him said the example of the one who celebrates the praises of his Lord Allah in comparison to the one who does not celebrate the praises of his Lord is that of a living creature compared to a dead one the Prophet peace be upon him also said any group of people that assembles in one of the houses of Allah to recite the book of Allah learning and teaching it tranquility will descend upon them mercy will engulf them angels will surround them and Allah will make mention of them to those the angels in his proximity we are commanded to have serenity and tranquility in all our acts of worship because when the heart is full of tranquility all other all other organs of the body will have tranquility so that a person reaches the state of khushur submissiveness to allah the Prophet peace be upon him said when you hear the iqama to prayer proceed to offer the prayer with calmness and solemnity and do not make haste and pray whatever you are able to pray and complete whatever you have missed the Prophet peace be upon him also said regarding the rituals of Hajj O oh people, be quiet. Hastening is not a sign of righteousness. Also, once the Prophet, peace be upon him, saw a funeral procession with which the people were rushing. He said, you should move with tranquility. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that when a person enjoys the feelings of tranquility and serenity during Ramadan, through the various acts of worship he performs, then he will be more ready to, ex to exert more efforts in the last 10 days of Ramadan to get as more and more of the blessings of these days the Prophet peace be upon him used to devote extra religious efforts during these days Aisha may Allah be pleased with her said when the last ten nights of Ramadan would begin, would, be, would begin the Prophet peace be upon him used to prepare himself for religious devotion pray all the night and used to keep his family awake for the prayers she also said the Prophet peace be upon him used to devote himself in the worship of Allah in the last ten nights of Ramadan to a greater extent than at any other time in addition we emphasize that solidarity having compassion and helping the poor are the are at the heart of worship whether by giving zakat by increasing one's charities or by paying zakat al-fitr and providing relief for the needy so that love and affection prevail and society becomes like one body may allah free us from the hellfire and make us among those whom he shows mercy may allah save our country egypt and all countries of the world